Hey guys, my name is Dina. I'm the girl behind Jackie Sue Design. Welcome to my channel and thank you for hanging out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to glitter on ombre tumbler. The last time that I was recording, my video cut off, and so here's the video that I promised you guys. guys so for my glitter mix i'm using hadassah from cns glitter emporium i'm also using this white and this one is different whites also from cns i'll try to find them and list them in the description box for you i am using also this rose gold from martha stewart i got years ago a great sub is hattie mcdaniel from cns glitter emporium in this little cup i'm going to just eyeball my measurements i am using hadassah this is a beautiful mix of copper, gold, and like a burgundy maroonish color. I'm going to add rose gold to it. It's actually called Rose Quartz by Martha Stewart. But like I said, you can use Hattie McDaniel, McDaniel from CNS Glitter Emporium. For my white, I had Sherry check my purchase history for the names of the glitters that I used. Ugh, she's the best, seriously. So the white is made up of Virginia Wolf, Princess Leia, and Dolly. And to this white, I will also add the rose gold glitter. Here I am just taking a stick and we're just mix, 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 mixing. I'm loving the colors, but I feel like I needed more. I didn't want to run out and not have enough of the glitter since I didn't do any measurements. Baby. Look at that. Mm, I'm loving the color so much. I have already prepped my tumbler white. For my base color, I'm going to mix Folk Arts Prairie Sunset and also this metallic copper rose from Craft Paint. I got them both at Hobby Lobby. To this paint, I will also be adding some glitter glue. I will be using this as my colored adhesive. Adding color to your adhesive helps you have better coverage when applying your glitter. Here's what our base color looks like. I know the lighting is not very good. The sun was setting and I was running out of daylight. To apply my paint and glitter glue mix, I am going to use this brush from the Crystalac company. I begin by painting the bottom of my tumbler and then the sides of my tumbler, making sure I don't miss any spots. Since I added the glitter glue to my mix, we can go ahead and go straight into glittering. As usual, I begin with the bottom of my cup. When glittering the bottom rim, I stay pretty close to it, about an inch or so above it. I tilt my cup and begin adding my glitter by shaking my glitter cup side to side and letting the glitter fall out of my cup. I move downwards in sections. I think my cup is about 4 to 6 inches high. Sometimes I go up to 10 to 12 inches high depending on how faded I want the middle to be. I hope this makes sense. The faded effect is what's going to help you achieve your ombre. Just keep working with it until you're happy with how it looks. Now I am going to switch colors. I am just going to fold my parchment paper in half and dump it back into my cup. Notice my rim seemed like it was drying so I reapplied my paint and glitter glue mix. Here I am now taking my lighter color holding my cup at an angle. This step will be much easier since we already added our first glitter and we will use this as our guide M make sure to bring your lighter color past the middle where your first color is to ensure that they blend together this is where our ombre is created having that gradient base will ensure your ombre is the bomb.com
Here's what it looks like so far. Now we are going to seal our glitter with our glitter glue. If you don't have glitter glue, you can seal it with Mod Podge or if you prefer clear spray paint, you can do that as well. Just make sure to wait the 48 hours to let the spray paint gas off if you are using any water-based coatings. Wait two hours before applying your second coat of glitter glue. After applying your second coat of glitter glue, wait one hour before smushing your glitter down. Smushing is when you wrap your tumbler in some parchment paper or even a white sheet of computer paper. You roll your tumbler onto a hard surface and then you take your brayer roller and you roll your tumbler with it. You roll all the sides of your tumbler. This helps flatten the glitter and it helps you use less coats of bright tone or grand finale as well as epoxy. Here's what the tumbler looks like after smushing. I also did a camper mug and I did the exact same process. In this part of the video, I have applied two coats of Grand Finale, two coats of Bright Tone, and this coat that is spinning is Grand Finale. I decided to only show you up until this point, since I will keep building up the layers of my Bright Tone and Grand Finale. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments if you like these glitters together, if you will give this tumbler a try, or if you're also alternating between Bright Tone and Grand Finale like me. I absolutely love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you. Don't forget that today is a good day to have a good day. Bye, guys.